this is an aquaponic Steve greenhouse update. We're gonna go over to the poly greenhouse and check out what's going on. Now, since we are last in here, we've gotten rid of the radishes. And we're gonna take a look at our tobacco sprouts, which are turning out really well. Very big leaves. We have some more over here, ready for transplanting. I'm gonna let them go a little bit longer. We have two underneath the containers there to keep bugs off. And they're growing fine inside those containers. And there's lettuce underneath the container over there we're protecting from bugs. So we have the carrots here, which is our second run of carrots. These are our growing carrots here. And we have some down here as well beside the bench. Our aquaponics tank is running well. And our strawberries are growing and propagating. Even got a little flower that's in there. Blueberry's not growing that quickly, but we're uh, letting it go with that and we're using the soil in the bottom start some runners from the strawberry plant as well. Now in here we have our pea plant which has grown quite tall. It was dry for a few days so it is recovering right now. But we have a lot of uh, strawberry runners sprouting uh, roots here which we can transplant and that cherry blossom branch is actually rooting as well so we have some benefits there these are our potato plants here they've sort of overpowered the pansy that was under there so we transplanted that and we've gotten already some baby tomatoes or potatoes out of this area here probably around 10 or something and we have a potato over there as well <clears throat> some of our tomato plants aren't doing that well this one is not doing that well it's a little bit yellow but it is bearing some cherry tomatoes there and we have larger tomatoes over there growing now on the vine we have a couple over there and lots of flowers on the top of that plant and I think we have tomatoes forming on all of our tomato plants we have some peppers forming right there but our pepper plants are being shaded too much I think so they're not growing that quickly it's over there in the corner so this one has tomatoes as well our uh, cucumber is growing really well up this stick here and this is from seed so it popped up and then I took care of it and made sure it had room now we've got it running up between these two sticks which we're going to fasten it to <clears throat> and then we're going to try to create some way of hanging the cucumbers as they sprout we have some right down there there's a flower forming now now we have some bok choy over there just one piece a test sort of and we have some yellow leaf lettuce there our corn is coming up I think I think this is our our corn here which came up late so I'm not sure that we're going to actually get stalks from that uh, as our purple color. Or I think that's a uh, kale, sorry. Blue kale or something, or purple kale. And uh, the green leaves at the top are much more tasty than the darker colorful leaves at the bottom. They're quite bitter. Our spinach all went to seed all bolted and our onions aren't doing too well over there either we've got to get in there and weed out a lot of that which is a lot of work our peas are doing okay against the wall we have some there's one if you can see it there behind the pepper plant there and there's another over there as well larger right there They're starting to go, but for July 15th, they really haven't started to uh, climb up that 
fish netting that we have over there. So up here, we have some small tomatoes forming. These are baby cherry tomatoes. And we have some down the next level. We have a full-size tomato plant there, which is sort of stunted because I had it covered for a while with the tray. And I think that's basically it. We have quite a few carrots, hopefully. We're going to let them grow as large as we can, and we're going to dehydrate those. We dehydrated all the radishes that were in here, and ate some potatoes, and ate uh, about three salads of spinach, I guess. Three big bowls of spinach. So, there you go, and this is a, a bean here, a bush bean, maybe. And a radish that I'm nurturing to see if it will produce a large bulb. So there you go, aquaponics and a normal greenhouse. This was $50 and we're already starting to see some food develop. So <clears throat> if you've got 8 by 10 feet or so, you can do this with probably 8 bags of soil. And there you go. Hope everybody's having a great day.